Okay, so this is a move that um, I've gotten better at over time as I've gotten stronger in the last few years. Uh, and um, I had to start learning this on my nephew when he was like 13, he was like 90 pounds and I could pick him up pretty easy. And over time I've picked, I've developed like I've strengthened the muscles that it takes to do this. And I can do it to somebody Majid size. Like the other day I did it to somebody who was over 200 pounds. I was able to pick them up. So the idea is, is get side mount, lift the person up, whether I have the underhook or not, whether I have the underhook or he has the underhook. Ideally though, to be honest with you, I felt better if he has the underhook, okay? And I want to lift Majid up and lock hands down here by his waist. That grip right there. First of all, they're already laying on my arm and it's uncomfortable on their back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what I do, and this is, if you guys watch like, I don't know what style of wrestling it is, but they do this in wrestling as well. Yes, they, yes, yes. they do this in different ways though. They have a different goal with it. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what their goal with it is. My goal is to open up and expose submissions. Okay. So I'm going to drive my head down first. Like when I first started doing this, I was always like, Rah, right here trying to pick the person up. I would never do this thing first. <laughs> that right there. Okay. That right there picks That's up. Dope. And, and, and everyone's gonna have their own submission right there. Okay, what I'm telling you, get to this spot, forehead down. You're gonna do a one, and on the way down, it's gonna give you lift power. Mm, I don't know. So let's see what kind of submission can I make up right here? There's, there's a, you see what he's done with his left forearm? Posting and, and framing on the ground always opens up submissions. So let me try again. Oftentimes what happens with this is when I load the person up like this, they try to like go to turtle position. Yeah. And they can be like, yo, seven year old right off that. You see that? Let's do this again. My real favorite thing to do, I don't know what Jude's probably gonna laugh his balls off when I try to do this to him right now. But <laughs> if I load them up, wow, okay, and I can go. <laughs> ow, okay, I can I can get him up onto my left leg here. Do you see what's going on here? Right now, watch, watch, I'll support his whole body weight on my leg here. You see this? Look, if he drops. <laughs> It's okay, I still have side mount. Okay, you do it to me, you do it to me. It'll be easier. Watch, it's super fun to do this. Lift me up and lace this arm. Lift me up like I sit up and lace that arm. Now walk hands, let's see, let's see. Now walk hands right there. Forehead down, kick your legs up, load me up. And now set me, step your left foot up on the ground. Okay, now post with your right hand on the ground way over there. That'll help you get me my lower back on your knee right here. Now, can you stand up? Yes, yes. <laughs> now, what'll happen is, what'll happen is, your right hand go onto my chin, and your left, the bottom of my chin, and your other hand go onto my kneecap. And press against my knee down, and my chin down, and wedge me against your knee. In pro wrestling, this is called the backbreaker. Look at, look at that right there. <laughs> that right there. This is the position. You were tap, somebody tap, tap, they were tap, somebody with that. <laughs> then pro wrestling, they do this. Stand up. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I know, I won't stand up. I'm just trying to stand up. In pro wrestling, it looks like this. I got you. <laughs> that right there. Okay? This is like acro yoga shit. But you saw what was happening to him. Okay, you'll see pro wrestling I'm matches. I'm sorry. It's okay. I wish I could. I know, but I'm just saying you can change people like that. Can you try again? Yeah. Well, you mean That's what I'm saying though. Like, you to you? like, yeah. Majid oh. hasn't done this before. I had to. They're watching you. I can do this shit. It's a cool photo. I had to learn how to do this on my little nephew. You know, because he's so light eventually. Now I can do it to heavier people. Fix it up. Post over there on your hand. Because then you can lower them. Oh. Now if they stay like this, press the knee and press the chin. Like put your hand like right there. Yeah, tap, tap. Sorry. Boom. Oh. Look at it. Right to the cross foot lock. Look at that. That's another example. Let me try that real quick. 
<laughs> Let me try that. Backbreaker to the crossbow. I won't do the backbreaker though. I'll just do the waist lift. You go. Boom. Load him up. Waist. Make space. Pick the dude up. They drop you. Go to the crossbow. Look at that. Look at that. Right on the inside. I'm not behind him. I'm on the inside. I'm on my knees, I'm not on my side. You see that? I'm on all fours on my forehead. This is where I can press in and get that response. Okay. So good luck with that. It's not the easiest thing. I had to like work my way like I was um, in weight training. I had to start at 10s, 20s, 30s, about now I can bench press like, you know, I can load people heavier than me onto my knee and press them down like that and get a submission. And it's one of those submissions they either like laugh or they never come back again. So be careful with it, respect. Thank you. Quit. Yeah. They quit. Quit. Get the nice okay.